I'm at 11,020 feet. This is about the highest point of Blue Lake Pass. And then that trail goes down there. There's a few more mountains down there, but they, uh, the trail goes lower. If you wanted to, you could probably bushwhack. I don't think that's a named peak though. One of my rules, I have to hike named peaks. I don't think that one's named, but you could bushwhack up that one. Um, there's a uh, blue lake down there. A couple of the mountain views. I'm six miles in my hike. My phone just blew up. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to work today, guys. It's too long of a walk and drive to go to work. But there's a uh, blue lake down there. Sorry, David. Wear your big man underwear for one day, please. Tom likes to hike every once in a while. And my favorite part of this pass is probably that peak right there. I don't think it's named either, but you probably have to bushwhack to that ridge line and follow that to the top of it. That's something I would do. But I don't think there's no name of it. So this is a uh, Blue Lake Pass, 11,020 uh, feet. It's two Blue Lake Passes in Colorado. The other one's in Telluride. It's on the Mount Sneffels Trail, which is a 14,000 foot uh, peak. I'm gonna do that one too. High above uh, Blue Lake Pass, 11,020 feet. There's Blue Lake down there. And that's what I like to climb if I had more time. 